Another unconfirmed report of a bear sighting over the weekend, this time in Cass County. And that follows several sightings in Indiana over the past few weeks, the first time in 140 years that a bear has been spotted in Indiana. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is here. And Patrick, you traveled to northern Michigan to find out what people here could expect from bears in our backyards. That's right, Jennifer. Officials from Michigan and Indiana DNR think this bear started its trip south from around Muskegon, where bears are more or less part of everyday life. We went there to find out how people live with bears roaming so close to home. Yep, you're welcome. Have a good day. No bear call. This DNR office in Plainwell, Michigan yeah, was effectively yeah, ground yourself. zero as they answered calls and tracked the progress of a black bear making its way down south from Muskegon through Berrien County. Well, the first couple weeks when we first started the hearing about the bear, we were getting uh, at least five, six, seven calls a day. And as the bear made its way into Indiana to become the first bear in the state since Ulysses S. Grant was president, it got a lot of news coverage. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, up here they're around all the time. But up here in bear country, they're wondering, it's the big deal. They're not uncommon around here. and. Everybody's like, oh, I saw a bear. You know, it's not yeah. a thing. Here around Cadillac in the northern parts of Michigan, seeing a bear is just like seeing a raccoon. It's just part of everyday life. Hey there, bear. What you doing? Where you going? As a rule, they're not really uh, harmful to humans. They see you, they go the other way. They're not, they're not looking to interact with you. They just happen to walk past where you live and where you reside. It's a male bear, and he's all by himself, so as long as you don't bug him. He, he's usually more scared of you. Now this is the kind of spot that a bear should love. And what officials are trying to figure out is why would a bear leave a spot like this to go all the way south to Indiana? <laughs> we are kind of questioning that too. Um, he just decided that, or it decided that it just really liked uh, southern Michigan and the lakeshore, apparently. Generally, this time of year is when uh, the, young, the young bears are starting to move out and uh, find their own territories. It could have just been following a stream. It could have been a, a bear cub that was born relatively far south and is just, just continuing uh, the journey a little bit further south. But maybe the only way to know for sure is to go right to the source. Why is your cousin in Indiana? Was it here for South Bend 150? Of course, the big question is, what's causing these bears to move so far south? Could it only be a matter of time before you see signs like this in southwest Michigan and northwest Indiana? That depends on who you ask. It's slowly going to move, gonna move to Indiana south. and, it's you know, south. downstate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's inevitable. Inevitable that it'll move down? Well, yeah, oh, because yeah. the population is making them go that way. It just depends on habitat suitability. There is a large number of bears in the northern Michigan and in the UP. They could, if, there's, if they're looking for a new territory, they could make their way south. And officials say that the odds of you actually seeing a bear are incredibly small. And if you do see one, you should consider yourself lucky. Even here in Manistee National Forest, where bears are somewhat common, the only bear we've seen so far, Smoky. You don't see them, even though there is a healthy, stable population up in northern Michigan. You don't, you really don't see that many. And um, when, when you do see them, it's pretty cool. Now, the people I spoke to in northern Michigan said that the bears are really similar to raccoons. They typically come out at night, and it's more or less the case that you realize they've been through your stuff after the fact. You don't mm -hmm. actually see them rummaging through your garbage. Very common. Yeah, and there's a reason for that. Okay, so if bears are going to be moving into our area, and we're, there's really no evidence as to that, did DNR say anything as far as when they think that might happen? It's not like they have an exact date or an exact right. number of years. They're saying it would probably be about 10 years at the least. That's uh, how, But they also point out that, you know, there are bears in Kentucky. And when they first heard about this, they were surprised because they thought bears would be coming through the southeast. So you might see bears in 10 years, but it might only be in southeastern Indiana. And like you said, at night, they come out at night, so not everybody sees them. No, you don't see them. them. The video, think we were talking about that. Why haven't there been more pictures or video of the, the bear traveling through right. our area? Because they're out at night. Because you think the first exactly. thing you do is grab your phone or, or a camera. Yeah. And yeah. And safely and take a picture. Yeah. They're, yeah. Not, they're not ringing your doorbell. They're not door-to-door -door salespeople. <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to get a photo of them. There you go. All right. <laughs>